Eight flatlines. That's what greeted Niall Rogers Jr. as he blinked awake in the sterile hospital room. His death certificate lay on the bedside table unfinished. Only the quick reflexes of the attending doctor had pulled him back from the brink. This brush with mortality begs the question, who is Niall Rogers Jr.? What secrets lie behind his legendary music, his family life, and the fortune he's amassed? With his infectious funk grooves and disco anthems, Rogers has soundtrack generations. From Sheik's iconic hits to collaborations with Bowie and Daft Punk, his signature sound has conquered dance floors and radio waves for decades. So, strap in as we unravel the tapestry of Niall Rogers' life. We'll encounter the wives who shared his journey, the children who inherit his legacy, and the staggering net worth that reflects his musical mastery. But beyond the numbers, we'll discover the extraordinary heart that nearly stopped, then defied the odds to keep making the world groove. American music maestro Nile Rogers, co-founder of Chic, wields his guitar like a magic wand, spinning melodies that have sold over half a billion albums and 75 million singles worldwide. Producer, composer, and philanthropist, his touch infuses grooves with dance floor magic, leaving an indelible mark on music history. Inducted into the rock and songwriter halls of fame, his guitar a chucking symphony, Nile Rogers has amassed six Grammys, including a lifetime accolade. Hard to fathom, Rolling Stone mused, and they weren't wrong. Rolling Stone hailed him as a massively influential, a true innovator at number seven on their greatest guitarists list. Nile Rogers, always grooving, always making history. Nile Rogers and Bernard Edwards' musical journey began with the Big Apple Band in 1972. As Chic, they unleashed disco anthems like Dance, Dance, Dancey and Everybody Dance, then redefined the genre with I Want Your Love and the global smash Le Freak. Their infectious grooves found new life in Good Times, a chart-topping sample magnet that continues to move generations. Beyond Chic, Rogers and Edwards penned vibrant anthems for disco queens like Sister Sledge, He's the Greatest Dancer, Do We Are Family, e, and Diana Ross, I'm Coming Out, E Upside Down. As Chic faded in 1983, Rogers' production magic took flight with solo artists. David Bowie's Let's Dance pulsed with newfound energy, while Inex's Original Sin and Duran Duran's The Reflex and A Notorious shimmered with pop perfection. Madonna's Like a Virgin blossomed under his touch, and his diverse collaborations extended to the B-52s, Jeff Beck, Mick Jagger, Grace Jones, the Vaughn Brothers, Brian Ferry, Christina Aguilera, and even Lady Gaga. His Midas touch wasn't limited to the 80s. Three Grammys in 2014 adorned his work on Daft Punk's Random Access Memories, and two more in 2023 glittered for his contributions to Beyoncé's Renaissance. Nile Rodgers, the maestro of grooves, transcended eras and genres, leaving an indelible mark on the soundtrack of our lives. He has a net worth of $200 million. He owns or has owned a Range Rover 4.6 Vitesse, which he used as a company car in the 2000s. A 1970s Porsche 914, a mid-engine sports car that he bought for $500. A 1965 Ford Mustang, a classic American muscle car that he restored with his friend. A 2019 Jaguar F-Type, a sleek and powerful sports car that he drives in his video series Nile Rogers Car Stories. Houses. A waterfront house in Westport, Connecticut, which he listed for $5.25 million in 2023. This house has a recording studio where he worked with artists like Madonna, David Bowie, Diana Ross, and more. A penthouse apartment in Manhattan, New York, which he bought for $2.6 million in 2015. A villa in Ibiza, Spain, which he bought for an undisclosed amount in 2017. This villa has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, a pool, a garden, and a view of the Mediterranean Sea. It is located in a secluded area near the town of Santa Eulalia. Early life. Nile Rogers' story begins on the vibrant streets of New York City's Lower East Side, where he was born to Beverly Goodman on September 19, 1952. His biological father, Nile Rogers Sr., was a traveling percussionist, his soul filled with the captivating rhythms of Afro-Cuban beats. Though rarely present during Rogers' childhood, his musical spirit undoubtedly resonated within the young Nile. While encounters with his father were few and far between, their impact was profound. Rogers saw him only a handful of times before his passing in 1970, yet those moments sparked a passion for music that would ignite a global sensation. Despite the void left by his father's absence, Rogers thrived in the embrace of his Lower East Side community. The diverse melodies and vibrant energy of the neighborhood would later weave their way into his musical tapestry, coloring his sound with a unique and infectious flair. Personal life. He is not married, but he has been with his current partner, former magazine editor Nancy Hunt, for over 20 years. They both did not want children, according to The Guardian. Rogers has said that he spent too much of his life looking after his own family to have his own. Eight near-death experiences in the early 90s forced Nile Rogers to confront his reality. A 1994 video of a hazy performance sealed the deal. Drugs and alcohol were out, a vow for a clearer path etched in his heart. 
In 2010, Rogers began chronicling a health journey on his blog, Walking on Planet C. Facing significant challenges, he persevered with unwavering optimism, documenting his experiences and offering inspiration to others. After receiving positive news in 2013, he encountered further health hurdles in 2017, requiring surgery to address a complex medical issue. Professional career and early beginnings of the the 1970s, formation of Sheik, Le Freak, Sister Sledge. Early beginnings. Nile Rodgers and Bernard Edwards, two aspiring musicians, crossed paths in 1970 while working as touring musicians. Together, they formed a band, initially named the Big Apple Band. They honed their skills as backing musicians, even collaborating with notable acts like Ashford and Simpson and Luther Vandross. Evolution and Transformation their journey led them to explore various musical landscapes, from opening for the Jackson 5 to forming The Boys, a group that played extensively throughout the East Coast. Their relentless pursuit of musical expression culminated in the formation of Chic in 1977, inspired by diverse influences like Roxy music and funky grooves. Rising to Fame Fueled by their passion and creativity, Chic began recording, eventually releasing the iconic Dance, Dance, Dance It with Luther Vandross on vocals. Their talent caught the attention of Atlantic Records, leading to a pivotal album deal. Chart-topping success With a blend of infectious melodies and danceable rhythms, Sheik stormed the music scene. Hits like Le Freak, G I Want Your Love, and Everybody Danced cemented their place as disco and pop R&B pioneers, establishing themselves as true musical trailblazers. Their influence extended beyond their music, as they also produced chart-topping albums for artists like Sister Sledge with the iconic We Are Family. A shifting landscape In the early 1980s, the music industry underwent a significant shift, impacting Sheik's trajectory. While the band delivered their final contractually obligated album, Believer, in 1982, they ultimately disbanded shortly after. During this period, Rogers pursued various projects, including collaborating with Diana Ross on the influential album, Diana, and producing hits for other artists like Deborah Harry Sheila and B. Devotion. New Horizons with Sheik on hiatus, Rogers embraced his passion for working with diverse talents. He contributed his signature sound to projects like the B-52's multi-platinum album A Cosmic Thing and even ventured into composing his first orchestral soundtrack for the film Coming to America. His creative spirit further led him to explore new musical territories with the formation of the short-lived experimental band Out Loud. 1990s, production, reformed Sheik and Death of Edwards, something else. A time of reinvention and tributes, reuniting and recording. Following a hiatus, Rogers and Edwards reunited Sheik in 1992, returning to the studio to create Sheikism. Their dedication to their craft continued in 1996 with the release of The Sheik Freak and More Treats, a Japan-exclusive album featuring re-recorded classics with guest vocalists. They even graced the stage for a series of commemorative concerts in Japan alongside renowned artists like Sister Sledge, Steve Winwood, and Slash. A loss and lasting legacy? Tragically, in 1996, the music world mourned the loss of Bernard Edwards. Rogers discovered his bandmate's body after a concert, marking a somber turning point in Sheik's journey. Driven by respect and remembrance, Rogers returned to Japan a year later to pay tribute to Edwards. In 1999, Live at the Budokan was released, capturing Edwards' final performance in its untainted, raw form. New Ventures and Influences while keeping Sheik's legacy alive, Rogers embraced new creative avenues. He contributed his musical expertise to film soundtracks like Beverly Hills Cop 3, De Blue Chips, and The Flintstones, collaborating with diverse artists like Bob Dylan. Notably, 1997 saw the notorious B.I.G. sample Sheik's iconic, I'm Coming Out, for his chart-topping single, Gemmo Money M.O. Problems, further solidifying the band's influence across genres. Building a New Legacy Ever the innovator, Rogers established Something Else Music Works and Something Distribution in 1998. This independent record label and distributor delved into the burgeoning world of video game soundtracks, pioneering the format with the release of the world's first 5.1 surround DVD game soundtrack album. Something's portfolio boasts titles like the A Halo, The Resident Evil, The Gears of War, and Borderlands a series, showcasing Rogers' continued influence and versatility in the evolving music landscape. Nile Rodgers, a disco pioneer and beyond. Nile Rodgers, a legend in the music industry, has carved his name in the annals of disco and beyond. 
As co-founder of Chic, he penned and performed on tracks that sold over 500 million albums and 75 million singles worldwide. His impact extends far beyond his band. Rogers' production prowess has graced the works of superstars like David Bowie, Madonna, and Daft Punk. His collaborations have produced timeless hits like Let's Dance and A Get Lucky, solidifying his position as a musical alchemist. Rogers' influence continues to shine brightly even today. In 2017, he and Sheik returned to Glastonbury, captivating a massive audience with their infectious grooves. He remains a tireless advocate for music, even offering free tickets to furloughed workers during the US government shutdown. From chart-topping hits to iconic collaborations, Nile Rodgers' legacy is one of innovation, joy, and the universal power of music. His journey is a testament to the enduring spirit of a true musical maestro. Tell us what you think about Rodgers in the comments. Thank you for watching. For more content like this, subscribe and click on the bell notification.